already getting up. Yay! All right, so this is the setup. Isn't it pretty? All set up. Throw it. Oh, right in my face. Put it over me for a nice coat. It's just weird without your mask on. You never ride with masks. Lots of protocol, lots of uh, COVID protocol here. Make sure that we're all safe. Last clinic of the season. Very last one. Should have brought a blanket with me. No, I'm having Gabby's coat. It's keeping me warm. So they're getting the lecture right now. Brandon thinks that they're going to have to lengthen their stirrups. And we all know how well that goes over with Gabby. She's already... Did he say it? Uh-uh. Did she lengthen them already? Yeah, let's see what happens when Gabby sasses back this instructor. <laughs> Did you have to lengthen your stirrups? Oh, okay. Alright, so they're moving. They're warming up. Very fresh. Are the girls fresh? Are the horses fresh? I don't know. Looks looking pretty good so far. Knock on wood. Wow, Gabby just said there's something wrong with them. He's being slow. This is his old stomping grounds. He's like, I better behave or they'll be bringing me, bringing me back. But he likes it here. So ask yourself the question, does my horse, my horse listening to my leg and the way that you want it to listen. So if I tell my horse hey, you go forward, are you going to respond? Does my horse yield away from my inside leg? Does it move away from the pressure? Does it yield into the corner? So just like Brandon says, this guy is saying, get your hair supple during the warm-up. So we basically told Sophie to, or Gabby to push her horse forward a little bit more and to stay relaxed. Now he's addressing how to hold your reins and where to put your thumbs. I believe he said that Finn's not fast enough. How do you feel seeing your horse in a clinic, Sophie? He's doing good. I know, we just want to see some. Uh oh, there's fillers. And Finn, we don't. Yeah, that's fine, Finn. That's fine. Support and side leg. That's so important. The shoulders are moving. The floor. The floor. Okay, so now. So now he wants them slow and collected. Slow and collected. She should have brought Chino for this. Whoa! Finn's like, I will jump it! <laughs> so, so Gabby, she told Gabby to teach Finn to trot over it, not jump over it. Well, sorry, but nobody's here. Nobody. Shaylin. So he says that Gabby's leaning forward and it's telling Finn to jump it. Yeah, good job. I don't know. All I know is that Yay. So Gabby's supposed to be controlling her body and making sure that Finn does not jump it.
perfect. Also, now they're putting on shorter strips. Oh, I need it. <laughs> Just joking. When I go away, it's my family's time to rest. That was in these first exposure to the fill. More leg. Just repeat it. <laughs> See that, you guys? Perfect. You're allowed to make mistakes. Nothing's perfect. Nothing's perfect. You're allowed to make mistakes. <laughs> Did she? If you do one mistake, it takes 11 times to fix it. Oh, geez. Penny and I are screwed, too. <laughs> All right. Get the good canner, Cabby. <laughs> Something's wrong with Penny. So he drifts to the left, so you push him on the left. <laughs> I'm like, get that on camera! Because <laughs> the first clinic they went to, they were like almost in tears for the first day. They were, yeah, they like him. That would be fun. Can you my tail from this crap? No. Nope. I know, that's sad. I mean, it's, it's just a bad time anyway. used to fill. Finn's not used to fill. I don't think he likes to fill because normally he doesn't jump like that. <laughs> Don't bring them in a straight line. The legs do. Ooh, it might just happen. <laughs> I don't know where she's going this time, but he said this might be challenging. 
don't know why he's doing that. Gabby, that a straight, a straight horse going straight will always get the lead. A crooked horse won't get the lead. that jump is. He saw the flowers. I knew those flowers would be the death of him. He's kind of like, not like, who cares about the fill? He's saying it doesn't matter about the fill. <laughs> so good. Yeah, that's really neat. Like he says, it doesn't matter what's under the gym. Your job is to keep them straight and to keep them going forward. That's it. All right, so now we're going four strides on them. He says it's all the canter and getting straight. So he's saying that basically we worry about too many things. The only things you have to worry about are keeping the pace of the canter the same and enough to get you to the jump and keeping them straight. It, that's all you have to do to be successful for the jump. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 